All right, continuing on from our previous problem, I'm going to show you guys how to draw the shear and moment diagram for this problem right here. After calculating the reaction uh, forces uh, from the roller and the pen, which we got 3.25 newtons, and then the 6.25 newtons in the directed upward. So before you draw the shear diagram, you need to locate all your pretty much all your external forces and reaction forces. In this case we don't include the resultant force for this distributed force right here. So as you guys see at this diagram, now we can look into how to draw the shear, uh, shear diagram. V as in the shear equals the integral W dx. W is pretty much saying that the area of the distributed force right here. So looking at this the best way to determine the area is we can actually look at the slope. And just by looking at the slope, which is the W, we just say that W equals, and it's pointing downward, we know it's actually negative. Then you got a negative 3, or 3x, three and then it's at the point, which is 3 plus 3. This is pretty much our slope equation right here. So now to continue on, we can say V of X equals 1X minus 3 DX and then you look at the point right here which starts to, the, the, the shear starts at 6.25 6.25 newtons. And then you solve for this integral we end up with VX equals 1x squared over 2 minus 3x plus 6.25 newtons. And since this uh, slope right here ends exactly at 3 meters, we would say plug it in. When it's th uh, three, uh, 3 meters, we have 1 over 3 squared over 2 minus 3 over 3, 6.25. And then we end up with 1.75 newtons. So just looking at this information, we look back over here, and this is going to be our shear diagram, and I'm going to call this x in meters, v in newtons. So starting out from here, we have a force in the up directions. In this case is going to be 6.25. And then before we get into this, I want to show you guys a quick shortcut. If you look at this circle right here, I'm going to break it down for you. This is positive, decreasing, negative, decreasing, and you have negative, increasing, positive, increasing. What this really means is pretty much when you look at a triangle object or in any type of slope object like this as a triangle or a parabola or whatever if you look at this this is going down so it's a negative decreasing so in this case we look at the negative decreasing and it gives you this type of format so what I'm trying to say is pretty much we have a 6.25 and then we calculate it at 3 meters the force is 1.75 Okay, and then just by looking at that, at this distance, we have 1.75. And I said that the shape is negative decreasing, so I was going to look at this shape right here. It's going to look like that. And then at the same distance, we have a force going downward. So. 5 minus uh, 1.75 minus 5 gives us a negative 3.25 and then if you look at the diagram back over here there is no more distributed force however we have an actual force that goes upward which is a 3.25 in this case your diagram should actually end up in zero and uh, in this case we are actually correct because negative 3.25 and a 3.25 and adds it up to zero. So this is our actual 
shear diagram. Okay, after we do the shear diagram, now we're going to solve for a moment diagram. So, after you have your shear diagram right here, your moment diagram is pretty much m of x, the integral of your shear. In this case, we have our v of x So, m of x equals the integral of x squared over 2 minus 3x plus 6.25 dx. And we're not adding anything here because there is no moment acting at this point. So, it's plus 0. And we solve for this integral. We have m of x equals x cubed over 6 minus 3 squared over 2 plus 6.25x. Okay, so this is going to show us the section for the distributed force only, which goes all the way up to 3 meters. So, looking previously over here. This is going to be our moment diagram, in this case x equals m, and moment is in those meters. Alright, so looking over here we know that there's no moment at the beginning of the diagram, so it's a zero. And then this is our actual formula right here, so we plug in at 3 meters, we have 3 cubed over 6 minus 3 plus 6.253 and then you will end up with 9.75 meters per meter. So exactly at 3 meters our maximum moment is 9.75 and in this case what did I say according to this uh, circle looking at our Shear diagram, we have a positive, however, it's decreasing. So looking back at our circle, positive decreasing, our diagram is going to look like this right here. So positive decreasing, and our point is at 9.75 when it's 3 meters. It's going to look okay. And after we do that, now you have to find the moment. In this case, now the moment is pretty much is just the area of the shear. So right here, right on the pad, since this is a rectangle, you know for a fact that the moment would be negative 3.25 times the distance, which is 3. In this case, will give us a negative 9.75. And since we're already at 9.75 and it's minus, it will end up at 0, and that tells us that our diagram is actually correct. In this case, since this is in a square, it's not in a triangle format, we'll end up with a straight line pointing downward. And if you want to do it in an integral format, it would just be exactly like m of x, the slope of the square, which in this case is just a negative 3.25. 3.25. Dx plus our point for the moment right here, which is 9.75, and then you do the you solve for the integral, and we end up with mx equals negative 3.25x plus 75, and you plug in 3 since the distance from here to here is a 3. We end up with m 3.25. And you should end up with a zero. In this case, we do. And there you go. That's exactly how you solve for the shear and moment diagram.
I hope this helps guys and I'm sorry for the inconvenience that I know it's sloppy but I hope this is better than nothing. Alright, you guys have a good one.